Well, we all know the question. What do we do with effluent and all of the waste products that we as human beings produce? Are worms the answer? As Central Wormworks' Robbie Dick is known to say, nothing can do it better than nature. The subject is finding a sustainable way of reprocessing all of the leftover bits from so many areas that we end up as we process our food. Even when processing without additives or chemicals, we end up with stuff we don't use. From the fruit pulp left after commercial production of juice, the mark created in the initial fermentation of wine, the scraps from the produce department of your local supermarket, to that totally contentious issue of dairy manure. Robbie has proven that the use of tiger worms to convert these waste products into a recreated and useful natural form of fertiliser is proven to increase yields of future crops. This is of course exceptionally useful worm vermicast, the Rolls Royce of fertilisers. Having worms in your garden and lawns has always been known to be beneficial and Robbie and many others have taken this to a new level and are continually finding new ways to convert. Locally here in Cromwell, Robbie's worms reprocess tons of waste from supermarkets, juicing factories, dairy farms and other central Otago businesses. The next steps are to convince the producer of the waste to take the worms to the waste rather than trucking the waste to the worms. Now a pioneer of this is the Mount Difficulty Vineyard out there in Bannockburn who have established a worm farm on the vineyard to reprocess the mark left after the grapes are crushed, turning a totally unwanted product into top quality fertiliser to feed next year's vines. The mark which is high in potassium is mixed with molasses and animal manure to make it more palatable for the worms. Robbie Dick has the research of years to show that while we are all concerned about the amount of effluent we create on farms, especially dairy, there is a natural way to cope with this by separating the liquid from the solid, as many already do. Then the liquid is sprayed on the paddocks as fertiliser, the solids are still a problem though. But as Robbie can show, a worm farm set up in a dairy area can actually process these solids and produce again a Rolls Royce of fertiliser. He has all the research to show that the areas needed for the worm farms to service a group of dairy farms is far less than sometimes assumed and suggests when dairy areas are being converted, the planning should include an area for a worm farm to naturally convert the waste being produced in that area. Another interesting use of Robbie's worms sees him supplying many plumbers all over the country who are installing human waste systems in areas using septic tank. These systems separate the liquid from the solid just as is done on the farm and worms in the solid side of the operation turns the human waste into usable vermicast. If you'd like to know more, call Robbie at Central Wormworks Cromwell. He's a very interesting bloke. He has a very logical answer, a totally natural and sustainable answer to a perplexing problem. He's well worth a chat.